MSI live fire training systems are used by government armed forces, police and security forces throughout the world. The systems comprise of integrated portable hardware and are used in the UK by the Army and Air Force. The Army use the Portable Automatic Marking System or PAMS. This is a training and zeroing system that can be used in the field of live fire. For each position there's a pop-up target and automatic marking system. So the outcome of each round can be seen instantly, whether the target is hit or not. The results can be recorded and replayed for analysis later. An instructor can see all positions on a portable, rugged PC and can sequence the targets to pop up and down and change angle to personalise the training. It can even be modified for night training. The system's light enough to be carried by hand, yet robust enough to withstand mobile, in-service use. As a result, PAMS is often used in theatre to train whilst awaiting deployment of the troops. In a firefight scenario, the system can even adjust its training programme to respond to the volume of fire laid down over the target. Tripwires, motion and pressure sensors can be incorporated to make it all the more realistic. Because the system instantly shows the outcome of the shot, regardless of hit or miss, the firer and instructor can discuss the reason for error. What's unique about the PAM system is actually what's going on inside the unit. Unlike other suppliers, we actually have an awful lot of data analysis in there because of our ballistics background. So we're doing timing measurements, uh, we're relating to GPS, for example, so that actually for the researchers and those who really want to take training forward to the next level, they have more information on which to base their judgments. The air-to-ground strafe and bomb scoring systems have been used by the RAF for over 10 years, designed to be a means of rapidly training and assessing the performance of a pilot in air-to-ground gunnery and bombing practice. This system is remarkably accurate. With the strafe scoring target, the pilot aims and fires at a visible target and the individual shot coordinates are measured and displayed by the target system. With the measurement area of up to 400 square metres, both hits and misses can be recorded, especially useful in the training of student pilots who can improve on subsequent passes. The coordinates are transmitted via UHF to the control tower and displayed on a PC screen. The controller relays the score to the pilot, saves and clears the data for the next pass. The bomb scoring system comprises two sighting quadrants used to triangulate a bomb or falling rocket on or near a target. The system can be controlled by a single portable PC and is therefore highly mobile. The control software can communicate with 12 strafing targets and 8 sighting quadrants. The software records hit and miss information, as well as call sign, aircraft type, store and attack profile, as well as first run attacks, dry run bootlegs and fouls. All this data can be combined into daily and monthly statistical reports. <laughs>